In a private family ceremony amidst prodigious feast and splendor of a living heritage, the royal palace of His Royal Majesty Yomonoba Nedo Kuakolopolo Ewai II Oba Benin played host to definitive epochs of the historic customary Izomo, the naming ceremony of the infant prince who was recently born to the Benin monarch Omonoba Ewai II by Her Royal Highness Oloi Iyayota Ewai. Significantly, the infant prince is the first birth to the Omonoba since his ascension to the throne on 20th October 2016. Mm. On a path fashioned for custom and tradition, the rites connected with the naming ceremony meticulously flit through a newly naming ceremony procedure as initiated by His Royal Majesty Obaewai II for the naming of a newly born prince or princess of the royal harem to the above Benin was established. For avoidance of doubt, this naming ceremony procedure is an initiative of His Royal Majesty Omonoba Nedo Ukwak Polopolo Ewai II, which must henceforth become customary practice in the royal palace of the Oba of Benin. The event, watched by members of the royal family, chiefs and several guests, featured performances by different cultural and traditional dance groups to spice the event. The ceremony commenced with the handing over of the prince to his father, Omonoba Ewa II, by his mother, Olui Iyayota Ewa, inside one of the ultra-modern royal reception halls. Thereafter, Olui Iyayota rendered a special song rendition to underscore her emotions of joy.
Among the Beninese, a name is not just an identifying medium or label. A naming ceremony is regarded as a serious affair, especially within the royal realm. They have cause to believe in the philosophical reasoning that the name of a child bears a veritable pointer to what a child eventually becomes in life and that the already established destiny of a father of a child may trickle down to the mother of the child. Recognizing that the Almighty God and His great royal ancestors have boundless role in the affairs of every human being, the Amonoba personally prayed at the ancient altar of his forebears to dedicate infant Prince Idubowa to the spiritual care and protection of the royal ancestors and the Almighty God at the Wairoba, the ancestral hall. Symbolically, inside one of the inner recesses of the royal harem, a member of the Royal Chamber of Ibiwe, Chief Izuako, formally informed all present of the name given to the infant prince by His Royal Majesty Omonoba Ewai II, while Chief Ugbemudia Letema, the Letema of Ihogbe Palace Group, formally announced the name as Idubowa, which, when fully spelled, is Aimi Dubowa Noba, meaning by command of the Most High God, the spirits of the royal ancestors have established prosperity, good health and wealth for the Oba. This is abbreviated as Idubawa. Oba, talk me! Isha! Edo, Ogbe, Uzebu, Oenokwa, Uselu, Erima, Amonaba Ledo, Ukwa, Bolo, Bolo. Enlivening melodious song renditions by the palace traditional women groups interspersed with singing and dancing, the Amonoba exhibited the grandness of royal dance state at the altar platform of the Uyaroba as it danced with the infant prince in his arms to climb a series of rites of the naming ceremony.
Oh, the main difference uh, is that um, apart from the regular uh, ceremonies that shows the joy and rejoicing that everybody has, uh, Monoba went to the um, ancestral shrine to dedicate the young prince and give thanks to the Almighty God through his ancestors. He prayed. He had this way of also communing, communing with the uh, ancestors. They direct him what name the child will be called. He got all that. So the addition was to go to the ancestral shrine and uh, give thanks to the ancestors. Uh, thank the Almighty God through them and dedicate the newborn baby, pray for the long life, uh, good health, and uh, also to show uh, his joy at the gift which has come from God. Yeah, you know in Benin they say that when Anoba ascends the throne, uh, he usually establishes new formats for some of the ceremonies. So this is one of them. And, uh, and this would be the method now that would be used to uh, uh, carry out the naming ceremony of subsequent uh, children that are born to the present monarch and thereafter. Uh, this is Prince Idubowa Noba, which in, means that the ancestors have secured prosperity for the Amonoba and the royal family, and by extension to the Edo Kingdom. So you know the name, if you, if you were able to translate it, it has the name of the ancestors, and it has the Uwa. Uwa means prosperity, and um, it says when you plant a seed and it develops roots, then it has been established. So in essence, it's saying that God, through the ancestors, has established prosperity for the upper and uh, by implication for the kingdom. You know that every Benin man um, or woman, every day they pray, they say, about okay. and they always say uh, in addition to that Eriyama which means there should be joy joy and uh, jubilation always in the palace and in the harem. So and the birth of every child is uh, the gift for which we are very very grateful to God and the ancestors and uh, for which everybody is uh, happy. Naming ceremony or Izoma is very, very important in the Benin Kingdom, especially in the royal family. This Izoma we did, the last one we did, was very, very important because the prince, the new prince, was born after the coronation of the Oba of Benin. A child, a male child born at that time is an important prince or important child to the upper. So that is why our royal father had to do the naming ceremony in a different style. This is the first time we are having this kind of naming ceremony or ism in the new kingdom. And I pray that our ancestor we make it to keep it up. Any rainy king, once Oba is crowned, the first male child born after the Oba is crowned is very, very important and very unique in our tradition. We've never done it this way before. Ever the second, our father, started this elaborate style of uh, Izomo. No of us have ever done it this way before. But we know that any child or any male child born after the coronation 
or the other is a unique child. This is uh, my first experience and it was um, very exciting, very unique and it was a great opportunity to be part of it. The first experience of a unique situation, the first born son after the coronation and then the process that went through is something that was uh, original and uh, I suppose that would be what will be obtained from now on. And to the Benin monarch, the first born after the coronation is a very, very um, wonderful thing and it brought excitement to the whole of the Benin kingdom and to the world at large. And because of the coronation was the most unique one ever. So what came after is um, something that we are all very elated about. The name says the wealth and the prosperity to the kingdom and to the royal family. Idu Bowa is bringing prosperity is bringing happiness, is bringing joy, is bringing something new to the kingdom, which will benefit all of us. So it is a beautiful thing. Our great father is full of joy. And that joy, he extends to everyone. Everyone, both family and the whole of the universe. And so, my heart is full of joy. Oba Atokwe. Yes, but for the Beni royal family, it is very important and significant in the sense that it is the ancestors through divine inspiration and revelation that the Oba names a new prince or a new princess that has just been born into the royal family. The one that has just been witness, this one is totally significant, historical. It is something that was very, very momentous in the sense that it is not only the first prince, but the first child, the royal child that was born after the coronation in 2016 of the present Oba, Oba Ewai II Ogidiga. So the naming ceremony is Omo. The way it was done was totally different and significant. In the sense that His Royal Majesty the Oba of Benin brought in innovations. Something, the procedure that has never been witnessed before. So he has established a culture, a tradition that has to be followed in time to come whenever there is a new arrival in the royal family. In Benin, we say, Oba gari Oba Odomi Yogon. When you have a new Oba, so because Benin custom and tradition is dynamic, it evolves according to modernity and according to the dictates of time. So the Oba has brought in a new procedure for his Zomo ceremony, for the naming ceremony of any newborn child in the Benin royal family. And that's exactly what we all witnessed the other day that made all of us to be very, very excited and to be part of that history. You will see the Oba in the ancestral home and the porter of the ancestors the place we call the Weroba, where the baby was handed over to him by the mother. And you now see His Royal Majesty majestically in a royal dance, with full of gaiety, full of style, and full of splendor. Then, plus all that significant spiritual things, movement, that follow afterwards. So all this were witness by most people, unlike before, 
it was never done and it was never seen by almost everybody there. So that's why we say that this very Izomo that took place was quite significant and a new procedure for any subsequent Izomo. And it will be on record that it is Oba Ewai II that established such cultural procedure for the naming ceremony of a new prince in Benin. Conventionally, in the heart and soul of life, what we are, who we are, and what we become, oftentimes are measured by the intrinsic meaning of our names. More details of spiritual rites of the naming ceremony continued until late hours of the afternoon behind closed doors. Oh, my God.